All right, today we're going to talk about the if statement, uh, which is a decision structure. Um, basically, it only executes the block statements if the condition that is tested is true. So for a, a quick example, uh, in the United States, you have to be 18 years or older to be able to vote. So we can use that in a decision structure to decide if someone is eligible to vote or not. So the first thing we'd have to do is to get the input from the user to find out how old they are. So we're going to say a variable called age is equal to uh, the integer input and our prompt is going to ask them to enter your age so then we can run this variable age through a condition to see if it is true or not uh, and the condition will be if the age is greater than or equal to 18 so for our if statement we use the keyword if and then our condition will be the variable age tested to see if it's greater than or equal to 18. We put our colon, we hit enter. So now, if they are greater than or equal, to, or excuse me, if they are greater than 18 years of age, or they are 18 years of age, um, we, we can tell them that you are eligible to vote. So this condition right here, age greater than or equal to 18, is going to be tested to see if it's true or false. If it is true, and only if it is true, this print statement right here is going to execute. If this condition is tested and found to be false, then nothing is going to happen. So we're going to test that out. We're going to run this. I'm going to click OK to save. We're going to save it as soon as it loads. Here we go. I'm just going to call it age test. You can name it anything you want. It's just really for fun right now um, or to, to test it out. Uh, it doesn't matter where it saves just as long as you know how to get back to it. Uh, mine saving in the documents folder which is fine. So now over here in our shell, the program starts to run and it asks us to enter our age. So I'm going to say 19. So 19 is greater than 18. So I get the statement that I put inside my block code that tells me I'm eligible to vote. However, if I come back and run this one more time, and I put in an age less than 18, let's say 12, then the program just stops running. Nothing happens. Um, this right here, this code right here, is considered a single alternative decision. There's only one decision that can happen, and that's if the condition we tested is true, then something will happen. If it's false, nothing happens. Um, if we want to create an, a, a, an instance where something does happen, if it's false, then we create a dual alternative decision structure. Um, and the only, all we have to do is add an else statement. So we're still going to test this same condition. And if it's true, then this line of code right here is going to run. However, if it's tested and it's false, then whatever we put underneath this else statement will execute. Now notice there's no comparison or condition to be met for the else statement. And that's because the condition is already being tested in the if statement. So if it's true, the code underneath the if statement runs. And if it's false, the code underneath the else statement runs. So we don't need to test the condition again in the else statement because it's already been tested and already been found to be false. So we know if it's true, then we're going to have a print statement that says you are eligible to vote. And if it's false, underneath our else statement, we're going to print that you 
are not eligible to vote. So, and that's it. That's for the dual decision structure. That's it. So we will go and run this again. We'll have to resave it. I'll just save it over top of the other one. So now, if I enter 19 again, the same thing is going to happen. It's going to tell me I'm eligible to vote. However, if I run it again and put 12 in again, instead of the program just stopping like it did up here, it actually tells me I'm not eligible to vote. And that's where this else statement comes into play. It's the other decision if this condition is false. It's what happens then. So the if condition or the if statement these statements only execute if the condition right here is true. This will only execute if this condition right here is false. 